What's up YouTube, Troy Hutchison here, back on my channel today. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon. Um, it was actually snow covered ground this morning at like seven o'clock when I went to the gym this morning, but it's not too bad now. It's actually warming up, it's getting nice out. So we're here at my local Kroger store. I'm getting ready to grab my groceries for the week. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and show you how easy it is to grab these groceries, how much it you know, costs. Uh, a lot of people preach that they can't diet because they can't afford it. It is very expensive to buy healthy, wholesome foods, but um, if you if you really try to narrow it down to the necessities, you can keep it under, we'll, we'll see if we can keep it under here. Uh, my goal is $80. I'm going to keep under $80 today and get my whole week's worth of food, so we'll see if I can get that or not. I done went to the gym this morning, done did my cardio. Um, I've had, I had a great great meeting last night with somebody. Um, I don't want to go too detailed with it, but I just want you guys to know that uh, no matter what, rough times, tough times, days you're feeling down, one doorway closes and one opens up. Just know that. Just keep that in the back of your mind. If you're having a bad day and it just seems like everything's coming down on you at once, keep your head high and keep going forward because I'm telling you, things work mysteriously. The universe works in a mysterious way. So just remember that and take that piece of advice off along to it. No matter how bad your day is, it will get better, I promise. So with this beautiful sunshine, let's go in here and see what we can get real quick. All right, guys? What's up, YouTube? So check it out. Kroger's was like way too packed. I totally forgot today is like March 3rd, which is the beginning of the month. It's a Friday, Friday afternoon. There were so many people in there. I literally started recording and then I was just like, oh my gosh, there's way too many people here. People were running in front of me. People were jumping in front of the camera. So I apologize, but I will have to do it a different day. I'll try to do it sometime mid next week or maybe next week I'll go super early to maybe do it. So, but. I got my shopping done, uh, got everything I needed, and I want to keep under eighty dollars. And I went up to eighty-two, so not too bad. But let me show you what I got, guys. Let's uh, let's unbag all this real quick. All right, guys. So here's what we got. Let's break it down real quick. Show you each and everything here. All right, must always gotta have my tuna. They had these on sale today, so that's the reason I went with the uh, your high quality star kissed. <laughs> I got my tuna creations. I love these, man. Just because of the fact that there's so many different flavors, and you can literally mix them with these cans. And you know, take that whole flavor that overtakes all of it. Um, PB2 powder. I added this in today because I just walked through the aisle to get. I was looking at the uh, almond butter packets that I have over here, and I saw this. So I thought, you know what? Instead of making my creations, my little you know protein yogurts with the peanut butter, I'll just use the PB2 because the macros on these are not bad at all. 45 calories, lower fat content. Um, only five grams of carbs. I believe two of those being fiber. Not bad at all. You can actually really implement this more a lot better than peanut butter it's not near calorie heavy got my spinach back there you know how i love my spinach celery celery is another snack that i just try to implement because it's you know purely water a lot of studies actually suggest that it requires your body to burn calories to digest it i don't know if there's you know a lot behind it but it's also a nice quick little snack and you can also mix it with some peanut butter or a little bit of salt um broccoli you guys know i eat broccoli almost every meal Egg whites is a big must. I love my egg whites, so I get enough for the week to eat my 10 egg whites a day. Chicken, I gotta have my chicken, and ground turkey. Those are my two main necessities right there. As you see, we went ahead and got the original plain yogurt. They had it on sale. Plus, the uh, macros are friendlier. The, the sugars are lower, only 6 grams of sugar, 6 grams of carbs, probably coming from the sugar, 16 grams of protein, and only 90 calories. So this is much, much more macro friendly than the uh, other brand that I showed you guys. Today, I, um, I want to keep it our 80 bucks, so if I didn't grab the PB2, which I think was a couple bucks, and then the steaks here that were on sale, I'll probably cook those tomorrow for me and the wife, uh, I would have been under 80 bucks, so not too bad. Plus, your boy also, if you notice here, gotta have, <laughs> you gotta have the uh, flossers there and some gum. I like to keep my breath fresh, so not a bad thing. So overall, pretty easy trip, and uh, you know, basic necessities. Keep it cheap, keep it easy, and keep it simple, how I always preach. So, real quick though, guys, um, since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and break my fast right now, get ready to do my first meal, probably be some egg whites, some tuna, and some salsa and spinach. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I prep this real quick and make it real, and then uh, um, I have nothing else really going on. I have to do a couple meal plans, but um, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys what I eat for the whole day, get that out of the way, because I know a lot of people have been requesting that, and I wanna give that to you guys. So. Um, let's go ahead and get this stuff put away and I'll check back in with you real quick. Alright, so here's what the first meal is going to consist of. I'm going to have one serving of coconut oil. I'm going to have two cups of spinach. Um, two packs of lemon pepper tuna here. Good macros here on them. Friendly macros. Good stuff. Only 80 calories per packet. So we're going to double that up. So that'll be 160 calories. Two grams of carbs. And we're going to get a whole whopping 36 grams of protein out of these. Um, 
As you probably see, two different egg containers here. Um, last week when I did my shopping, I actually grabbed break free egg instead of the egg whites only. So what I've been doing is just doing half and half. So I want to get these rid, rid of these since they've been open a couple days. Um, going to throw some mustard in here on this, lighten it, just a light little coat of it, give it some flavor. So let this pan heat up and we'll go from there. As you guys see, it's starting to really cook, starting to get like solid in there. We're going to throw some spices on it real quick. Oh yeah, it's starting to really cook nice and good. That's what I love about egg whites. They're so simple and so easy to make. They cook fast. Very healthy for you. Well, you know, these have some egg beaters in them too, but... I'm going to use a bit of garlic powder. Seasoned salt, light on the salt. And a little bit of black pepper. These are only the only seasonings that I really use a lot of. Sometimes lemon pepper. Nice and easy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rip these open, go ahead and add them into it, let it let the tuna get heated up with the eggs as they're finishing cooking. I know a lot of people are not big fans of the tuna egg mixture, but I've been doing this since uh, my first show prep, and the mustard, it's a game changer. It changes it. Good flavor. Low calories, can't beat the mixture. Alright, so that's all added. Let's mix this up. Let me give you guys a better angle here to look at. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and try to flip all this. Kind of making, I guess, an egg tuna omelet here. <laughs> Never done this one handed, so. Whatever you do, do not walk away from your egg whites. Done it too many times, and they just, you come back and they're burnt, crispy, almost like a big hash brown. <laughs> Man, this smells amazing. I am starving. All right, as you guys see here, I got a plate full of spinach. Um, I didn't measure it out. I really, I really advocate that you can eat as much greens as you really want because this is so calorie light. Uh, and I think two and three quarters cup is a serving size that's like 20 calories. So you really get your spinach in. A lot of vitamins in this. It's heavy in vitamin K, which is real good for you. So what I do is I put my spinach here. Then I'm going to simply just place my eggs and tuna on top of it. And try not to do that right there. <laughs> Making a mess over here. Oh man. Oh gosh. All right, we saved it. We're good. We saved it. Five minute rule. Five second rule. Five second rule. All right, let me get this cleaned up. We're gonna go to the other room real quick. All right, guys. Here we are, back in my dining room, letting this food cool down. But as you can see, it's a pretty big meal here. This is always my biggest meal of the day. I always break my fast with my biggest meal. And it's, you know, usually it's just 10 egg whites, a can of tuna, or I'll do two packs of the tuna creations and a nice helping serving of the spinach and one serving of coconut oil. There's so many benefits to coconut oil. You can research them, but um, it's a healthy fat. It's really good with cooking with. So I've always just implemented it ever since I've done the keto diet. But I'm not keto dieting right now. I'm just, when I did do it, I did it a couple months back. Um, all in all, this whole meal has, um, let's see here. As you guys know, I use my Fitness Pal app. Uh, let's see, this whole meal has 540 calories in it. Not bad, not bad. 117 grams of protein. So that's why I break my fast with this much. You know, it's a big whopping, um, you know, 100 some grams of protein. It's only got 12 grams of carbohydrates. Um, you know, and my fats are about, only about 16, which 14 come from the coconut oil, serving the coconut oil. So. Oh no, good meal, it tastes delicious. I know a lot of people don't really look at the tuna and the mustard very much, but um, like I said, I've been implementing mustard in my diet. Sriracha mustard, hot sauce, since 
uh, you know, 2015, September 2015, my first show. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys see what I eat, how I break my fast and everything. And you'll notice my next meal will be a little bit smaller, and then my next meal after that will be a little bit smaller. My last meal consists of um, a lot of protein and just a lot of vegetables because it fills me up through the night. But as I said earlier, I want to touch on that real quick. I don't know what's going on lately. Um, I'm too, I'm about 210 right now, still leaning out, still drying out. I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm looking great, I honestly think. I need to give you guys a physique update soon. Might do that this weekend. Um, but <clears throat> I wake up in the morning and I used to, the whole benefits of intermediate fasting is to, it's supposed to really take your mind away from the cravings, the hunger, but here lately my body has been just waking up ravishly hungry and I've been fighting through it and drinking lots of water, drinking my BCAs, definitely been up on my BCAs to help, you know, prevent muscle tissue deterioration or, you know, my body using muscle as fuel. So we're going to see how I feel. If it keeps up, um, IF may not be in my future much longer. Uh, we're two weeks out from vacation. Um, so we'll see what happens. We're going to see what, we're going to play it out, see how it happens. Um, real quick though. The good thing though is tomorrow, I'm gonna to do another eating challenge tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do another Randy Santel food challenge. I'm not sure which one yet. So I'm gonna sit down tonight and think about which one I really wanna do. And I'm gonna give it give it a shot, give it another whirl. Uh, Cause I had fun doing the last one. And I, you know, they're easy, they're nice, easy challenges. They're not easy, but they're nice, fun challenges. And there's rules, regulations. I kinda of like doing challenges like that. So I'm definitely gonna do that tomorrow. But my hunger is at an all-time rise right now, so that's kind of a good thing. So we'll see what happens. Um, so I'm going to eat this meal real quick, and then uh, i got to run a couple quick errands. i got to run by my wife's work, and then I have to run and grab a couple, couple more things from another store. And then I will check back in with you guys on meal number two. All right, guys, so I'll see you soon. What's up, YouTube? Troy Hutchinson here with you. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon or the early evening, however you guys like to call it. <laughs> I started eating my second meal and I realized, I'm like, oh, I gotta show you guys, I totally forgot. This is my first time doing a full day eating with you guys, but I got you. So we got 10 ounces of chicken, two servings of spinach, leaf spinach, and some sriracha mustard. Very good meal, very high in protein, very low in, like, there's nothing bad in this. Maybe the sriracha mustard's high in sodium, but um, it's gonna be 350 calories, um, it's gonna be about 60, 62 grams of protein, I uh, use my fitness power app, as most of you know. <clears throat> Let's see where we're at here. We are for the day at 890 calories, 183 grams of protein, 16 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat. I have a lot of playroom still. Literally have a lot of playroom. So I might even, not gonna lie, I might even get roosters tonight without the blue cheese though, because I had plenty of blue cheese last night. But might be getting that tonight. So I'll let you guys know if I do though. You'll see it, you'll see it. Um, so I'm sitting here doing some meal plans, and I, I, I got, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I got zoned out and I got bored, so I started YouTube and watched some of my videos back. And the reason why I watched some of my videos back is not to just watch myself by any means. <laughs> um, I was watching, I watched some of my videos to see how, where I can make better edits, where I can make some changes, where, what can I implement. And then I started watching, uh, it has suggestions over on the side to people to watch. So I started watching other videos. I came across the uh, Christian Guzman. Um, I've heard of him. I never watched him until now. <clears throat> very, very nice introduction on his page. I mean, I really felt, I really felt his passion. Um, another one, Nick Wright. I used to watch Nick Wright back in the day uh, when he first started. Um, and then Travis S's 10,000 calorie challenge came up on my channel or popped up on there. That's awesome to watch. I love watching those 10,000 calories. I'll watch anybody's 10,000 calorie challenge video just because it's phenomenal to see the human body eat 10,000 calories. I know I can do it, but I eat a lot. We've seen Remington do it. I've seen, I've probably watched 30 videos of people eating 10,000 calories or more. But um, real quick, not to babble here. Um, the reason I, I was watching these videos and I started noticing one thing. I started watching some of their older videos and then watching their newer ones now. And you can just see how much they've progressed and how much better they've gotten and how they just fluently, this it comes to them now and that's awesome. So that's, the first thing that pops in my mind is goals. <laughs> I'm like, man, I, I wanna get to the point where I'm editing like that, and I have content come out like that. One thing I notice about all these YouTubers is, e even myself, I know I'm just beginning, guys, and I know I'm very, very, I'm a small spectacle on the, dot, on the radar right now, and I understand that, and I accept that, because I wanna work my way to the top. And I may never make it as a big YouTuber, and that's fine. Uh, but I will keep doing this because 
uh, the small portion of people that do pay attention to me. I respect it and, and, I, and I truly love it. After watching these, I realized that we all have this, all YouTubers have this, all YouTubers. Anybody that records any kind of content and puts it out, they're doing it because they're passionate about something. They're doing it because they have a vision, they figure out what their vision is, they figure out what the goals are they have to accomplish to make that vision a reality, and then they just go do it. It's all about just doing it. Everyone that I've watched so far have just said, get out and do it. And that's what I preach all the time, get out and do it. So, the last few days I wanna apologize because I've been kind of just, not even gonna lie to you, I've been bringing the worst me to you guys, and that's not fair. That's not right for me to get on camera and show you guys, well, this isn't a good day, I'm feeling down, I'm not into it. Um, I do it because I want you guys to understand that we all have them days, and including people like anybody that's working a full-time job, has a family, anybody that's doing any extra curriculum activities, it's, it's hard, it's hard to juggle, the, it's hard to juggle all that life, you know? And that's what life is, though. it's about juggling as much as you can without dropping everything. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know that there will be no more, there will be days, there will be days where I'm down. But there will also be, I'm going to do my best to not make it as a parent or bring it the bring it out as much to you guys. I'm not going to try to talk about it as much. I want this to channel to be about success, positivity, doing what's right. After last night's meeting, I'm not going to lie, last night was another bad day. I was at the gym. I'm trying to power through my workout. As you guys see, it's Friday. I'm not the honor classic. There's a uh, reasonings behind that. Um, I'm not gonna discuss it, but um, I accepted it. I literally was at the gym this morning and I accepted that I can't change how things are going right now. I can't fix them, I can't change them. But what I can do is I can get past them and I can be a better me tomorrow than what I am today. So life is about challenges and you know defeating those challenges. So, but back to last night's meeting, I had a great meeting with a buddy that I haven't talked to in a while, but it was, it was almost as if, as I said earlier, this door closes, one's opening up, and it's like this doorway swung open. And <laughs> I, I, I'm, see, I'm smiling because I'm, I'm still like lost in transition about it. Like it blew me away. So big things are still coming, guys. And uh, I just want you guys to know that uh, the train ain't stopping. We're still born. And we're gonna go no matter if it's a slow movement, slow progression, we're gonna keep moving. So big things are coming. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, but I'm done. I'm, I'm sitting here talking your guys ear off. So I apologize I'm gonna eat my second meal and then I'm gonna knock this out put this stuff up Get ready for my son to come home from school and my wife come home from work And I'm gonna spend the evening with them and I'll check back with you guys on meal number three Might be my third meal or it might be my final meal. I'll let you guys know at that time So I'll see you guys in a bit What's up YouTube? Troy Hutchinson here checking back in with you guys. It is almost 8 o'clock at night. Um, I am exhausted. The lighting is kind of bad in my car right now. Um, I, I'm about to get back in my house. I just picked up dinner for me and the wife. And the kids are in there and it's so, super loud. Um, so I wanted just to see you guys off right here real quick before I go in. Uh, real quick, uh, I did not get to sit and chill with my family like I wanted to. Uh, something came up. I started actually helping a couple people. More work came in. Not a bad thing though. Um, it's not a bad thing at all. I'm taking it all. Uh, real quick, I also got another email. So another good email. Good thing. Another, I'm going to say great email. It was awesome. So good things. Good things. You got to stay positive. Like I said, guys, through the darkest times, you have to stay positive and look for the light. Even if it's a small spectacle of light, you have to look for it and reach for it. So, um, you know, I know I say that a lot, and I, but I really truly believe it and I really want to emphasize on it. But real quick, my last meal, um, I, was, I was wanting roosters, but I asked the wife, hey, you want roosters or you want Chipotle? She said Chipotle. So I went to Chipotle and luckily your boy had to buy one get one free. So I got the hookup. But <clears throat> I had so many macros to play with. So here's what I decided to do. I went ahead and kept it real. I got double chicken, and I got a little bit of beans because I've had any carbs all day, so I had a little bit of play in my carbs, and I got light, light cheese and light sour cream. And when I say light, literally light. <clears throat> so for my last meal here, we have 630 calories, which is gonna put me at 1,710 calories for the day, not counting what I subtract from with my cardio. So total, I had 270 grams of protein, 55 grams of carbs, 25 of those being fiber, and then 62 grams of fat. So I legitimately am well within my, um, you know, my daily macros, easily within them. And I am going to smash this food and be content till tomorrow, until probably one or two o'clock when I break my fast to uh, do the food challenge. So 
Um, I hope this video helps you guys. I hope it lets you see that a full day eating clean doesn't have to be hard. It could be as easy as your food's prepped, you warm it up, you eat it, or as easy as going to Chipotle. Um, it's, it's very simple stuff. I mean, you, you can do whatever truly um, makes it, whatever truly is easier for you to do. Don't overcomplicate it. I preach that a lot and I mean that. Like, you just don't need to overcomplicate things. You wanna eat clean, you wanna diet, start by eating clean, simple foods. Uh, places like Rooster, Chipotle, you know, me and the boys always go out there and eat that stuff and, and we love it, you know? They, that to us, we you know, it's guilt-free type stuff, so. <laughs> um, um, lastly, I just wanna touch on everything and uh, say that today's been a blessed day and I've had I've had a nice day it's been a great day so I appreciate all you guys good vibes and prayers you guys are all telling me you know turn you know keep your head up Troy keep grinding and I did and it, it, it everything did a 180 legitly everything did a 180 and I am I am blessed to uh, to be in the position I am right now so I'm really hoping that this good vibe keeps just trucking along so as I said big thanks for coming guys though but Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gives you some kind of value content. And uh, that's pretty much my day right there, guys. That's how easy it is. So with that, I'm gonna see you guys off and go in here and enjoy my last final dinner. My, <laughs> my last final dinner, like I'm on death row. <laughs> enjoy my last meal of the day and um, spend some time with my wife. And I think I'm gonna watch, uh, watch a movie tonight. That sounds pretty tempting. So until next time, guys, stay grinding, stay the course, and always, always, always chase your dreams do not ever let anybody tell you that they cannot be accomplished gotta reach down and dig deep for it have a good one guys until next time i'll see you